Well, there's something about the weather when we're out on our own. Something about the path that leads us forever home. And we don't need a reason, just changing with the seasons, following the feeling in our souls. Hello, I'm Ritu, and welcome to Pondicherry. So I'm on a short trip to Pondicherry and we checked into our Airbnb at about 1 p.m. which was quite late because we were supposed to reach by 11 a.m. but it got late. So this Airbnb is in White Town and Rock Beach is walking distance from here. A lot of tourist destinations is walking distance from here like Rock Beach, Sri Aurobindo Ashram and all that. So we'll visit some of the tourist places today. Here's a tour of the Airbnb that we booked. There is no lift in the building but our room is on the first floor so that won't be a problem I guess. So we enter from here, the bed is quite big which is enough for 3 people. There is a table with a TV which I don't think we will be watching. This is the door to the balcony. The view is not that great but we will not be spending much time in the room anyways. There is a dining space with 4 chairs and a table, a microwave and a fridge. It's quite spacious actually. That's the kitchen with an induction oven, there are some utensils in the cupboard as well and that's the bathroom. We thought that we'll go to beach first but we don't have the time now so we got ready and now we'll head out and try to visit some of the tourist destinations here and we'll leave now. Well, there's something about the weather when we're out on our own Something about the path that leads us forever home and We don't need a reason Just changing with the seasons Following the feeling in our souls The first location is Sri Aurobindo Ashram We decided to cover this first as the ashram closes by 6 pm The history of the ashram dates back almost 100 years ago it was founded in 1926 by Sri Aurobindo Ghosh and Meera Alfaza or the mother who was a dedicated follower of Sri Aurobindo. The ashram has grown from a small group into a large and diverse community of more than 2000 people. At its center there is a courtyard where the samadhi of Sri Aurobindo and the mother lie in a white marble shrine. Cheers! Then we explored the streets of White Town or the French colony. Every corner of the place is so picture worthy. Make sure to plan your visit to White Town during the daylight so that you can experience the beauty of the colorful walls and buildings. We spent some time there, took a lot of photos and had a great time. <laughs> the second location is Rock Beach, which is one of the most famous beaches in Pondicherry. Rock Beach is also known as Promenade Beach or Pondicherry Beach. The location is great as it is surrounded by so many cute cafes, restaurants and art galleries. You cannot take a dip in the water from this beach, nor there are any water sports activities, but it's famous for watching the sunrise and sunset. The beach is quite crowded as a lot of people are sitting on the shore but we had a great time here. Now the with me we're chasing daylight and we're so fully alive Well I can't believe the world's still turning cause we're hopelessly One thing that we noticed in Pondicherry is that in most places the breakfast closes from 9 am and at night the restaurants and cafes close from 9.30 to 10 pm or the food gets over or the place is fully booked. You have to reach early by 6 or 7 pm and book a table otherwise you might not get a good place to have dinner. We came to La Cafe for dinner but it's already closed and it's just 9.30 pm. 
There are many restaurants and cafes which are closed now by this time which we did not expect at all. After searching for quite some time we finally found a cafe that was open and not fully booked. The interior looks quite nice. The decor is all beach inspired with bright yellow couches and wooden furniture. Now that you're with me, we're chasing daylight and we're so fully alive. We ordered some risotto, prawns, and chicken. The food was quite tasty. They have a bar and a counter for cakes as well. Dinner costed about rupees 500 per head which I think is quite reasonable. Just now it's about 12:40 a.m. and tomorrow we are planning to watch the sunrise from Serenity Beach. So we have to wake up really early for that. And also we are planning to go to Chinambar Boat House and try to do some water activities over there. We were only able to cover Sri Aurobindo Ashram today, and we wanted to go to the Pondicherry Museum as well, but we could not cover that. So tomorrow we will try to cover the rest of the spots that we could not cover today because we were short of time. So now we'll just get some rest and. I'll see you in the morning. Ha. Huh. At midday without having a breakfast. Yes. <laughs> With empty stomach. Oh, I can't believe. The